Embryotic Luigi presents Store, if you can't tell, we're in our uniform. In fact, they're pretty. And we had a lot of shit to focus on. Yeah, we do. Uh, basically, the grocery store rent's going to consist of stupid people to shop at the stores. But you also cannot forget the management that's very crooked. Or the co workers that rock. That too. Especially the ones that fling you off a bed with a fucking scissor kick. You know? You tried to get me in like a little submission thing, you sucked, so I threw you down. Well, forgive me if I had dead no fucking idea that you would have fucking flexible. Anyway. Anyway. Long haired fuck. Eat shit. Bitch! Whore! Continue. <laughs> I thought so. So, first thing. Uh, fuck you too, buddy. I took a bum. How the hell did you know? First things first, stop it. I didn't do shit. First things first, you're a bitch. Fasting. Stupid people who shop in grocery stores. That's the first part of it. One, these ignorant people that pretend like we do not have a room full of buggies pass that room up completely, come in the store where we have the buggies at the fucking registers, take them instead of what's in the room meant for the buggies. That leaves us short up front on buggies, and we have to go get more and bring them in. Which usually doesn't help. And I've heard people do, <clears throat> like, whenever they do this shit, and they just step and say, well, they can work for it. They're paid to do their fucking jobs. They're supposed to do all that shit. It's like they're too incompetent to realize there are two entrances to this store. One of them has a whole room full of buggies! Again. The fact that people lack the common sense to see the available stock and go to where it is not available. To achieve said fucking place, God, I'm tired and I'm fat. <laughs> the fact is, I mean, if you can't see a fucking stock load of shit and then you have to go and get a buggy that we're using for a transition, what the hell? Because then that screws everything up, holds up lines, and then people are bitching at us because they think we're fucking slow because we don't have a four-wheeled fucking vehicle for meat, cheese, tampons, and all the other some such bullshit. Do not forget the douches. Vagina bagpipes. Yes. Indeed. Booyah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Next topic. Stirring off the idiots who get the buggies from the registers. Idiots in the lines. Idiots in the lines. Yay. We're talking about these idiots who will come up to the register and decide that they do not want an item that they drag all the way up to a fucking register just to say, I don't want this. Ah. Oh. Today, for example, canned beans. Got done scanning the items, I was in his line. Lady gets to that can of beans, takes a five minute long look at the bottom of it and says, it's dented. 
I don't want it. That's another thing that angers me. Mm -hmm. People who will look through every can in the store, and if it's dented, they don't want it because of some odd reason they think it's going to be effective with botulism because they're too damn stupid to realize it's only a dent in the can, and they're not going to eat what the can, they're going to eat what's in the can. Well, they think that the dent is a puncture that allows some such foreign bacteria, such as fucking E. coli, to enter the fucking can of green beans before they serve it to their five-year-olds. Dumb as shit! A dent in the can is not going to ruin the quality of the food inside of the can, you idiot! It may dent a bean or two. That's about it. So next time you come up to the register, you're like, I don't want this, it's dented. It's going to take everything I have to not look at you until you go fuck yourself. Pretty much. <laughs> Retarded. Then, you have these ignoramuses who get pissed at the cashiers because something's fucked up with the prices and are not ringing up the right way. It's not the cashier's fault, idiot. Oftentimes, I'll explain this too. Managers put up signs and forget to take them off whenever deals are over. Okay? If you come in and see a deal that plainly states on the fucking sign that it was last week and you're thinking it's still in effect this week just because you want to be cheap, why the fuck complain about it? Again, common sense lacking! Bullshit! And today there was a customer that came in that saw this deal that said, like, cheese five for five or some shit, and there was some kind of fucked up way about that to get that. Another thing I do not understand. Cheese. Kroger will... I like cheese. Uh, Kroger will advertise a certain cell, but confuse you on what the cell is actually going to be. They will tell you, buy this, get this for free. But in all reality, you have to buy that plus this and that to get that for free. Marketing economics has gone to hell. Yeah! <laughs> Another thing, too, I remember back when they did the whole 12 and 15 pack bullshit saying that it's all the same price. I never got that, you know? That was with the Cheez-Its. And the Cheez-Its. But th that's what I'm saying, though. They still bring up the 15 pack cans the same price as if you would got, like, say, 312 can boxes. Remember yeah. That? And like, if take the fucking 12 pack boxes out of the fucking deal area. Leave the 15s, since people want more for their fucking money, since they're already cheap anyway. Invimited problem! Yeah, they had 12 and 15, same price. And then if you bought like five of them, you get a box of Cheez-Its and a bag of combos for free. That, that confused so many fucking people. There were so many people bitching about what was going on. Not even a management knew what was going on, because they were too stupid to figure it out, and they didn't know what was going on, but they needed to go with what was going on, because they were the manager of the store and didn't know what was going on, but they needed to. Breathe. <laughs> And I went through it myself, coming out of the daily to help out with the situation up there on the lines. Sometimes people bring, like, say, seven cases of Kilda, five bags of Cheez-Its, and two Jumbos, and wonder what the fuck is ringing for. Shut up! Shut up! Shit, thank you. May I continue? <laughs> yes, you can continue. But yeah, they would mix up the numbers of the items, not knowing simple math, which is really something that concerns me with the general public nowadays. <laughs> two and two and one equal deal, not two, seven, five, and six equals Batman symbol and bullshit. Batman symbol is cool, though. Yes. Because it's classic. Long live Heath Ledger. Yes. Yes. But still, though, simple math, fuck up. Lines, fuck up. Customers, fucked up. Situation, fucked are you going to choke? No, I'm good. Continue. Okay. Another thing that really irks me. Really? Really? Okay. It's when I fuck you. It's when Are you finished? Thank you. That hurt. Another thing is when you have these customers that come in week after week. Like, every week you see them, and you know which ones they are. Come in every week bitching about the prices, yet still shop there every week. <laughs> you get the same thing in the deli. Worst thing that pisses me off is that the same senior citizens come through now weekly ordering 100 pieces by 8 o'clock in the morning. Do you really think we have time like that to organize our shit? Set up stock, make breakfast, 
and fry a hundred pieces of chicken. Get the fuck over yourselves! Buy the packets! The department makes them! Buy them! Fry them! Quit being lazy! Dumb fuck! No, it's picnic season, but fuck y'all! Sorry. Yeah, the people that'll come in every week bitching about the prices every week, the same damn thing. They'll always go to the service desk, say something's wrong with their receipt when there's not, and a damn thing wrong with their receipt. They just want to bitch about something. If you do not like the prices of the store, I have a solution for you. Go the fuck somewhere else! Or come and get one of my steel spoons from the deli so you can eat both our asses. Yes.